it's something that you really want to do. Now, the quest all already reset. We don't have to worry about resetting it. So we're just going to go in fresh on hard and summon our little digital buddies that we'll need. And I have a strategy for using them in here because otherwise they will die. Uh, and then I'm going to buff myself up. Now we also have 67 heal scrolls, but I'm I'm only 50% on those, so I don't want to rely on those. So for this, what I do is I come over to this corner and I pin those healers. If I need a heal, I will run over to them. I will blur myself and I will do the best that I can. Oh, you guys saw that bit of lag, right? That I cast blur, but it didn't. Oh, I know what's going on with that. That's not lag, actually. I'll show you guys what that is. Sometimes it takes a, a little bit to get used to gear changes, but that's exactly what happened. I picked up a, a piece of gear, this great cloak from the Feywild that gives me Acid Absorb, Insightful Constitution, the feet wind through the trees and blurry. Blurry replaces blur. Blurry gives me permanent blur. So now I don't need to cast blur on myself. I'm always blurred. That is a fantastic cloak. And it's a very easy farm. I showed you guys how to do that in the last video. And so here, what I want to do is I want everything coming for me. I don't want anything to go aggro on those NPCs. I also, because champions hit so hard, and because this quest is a level 12 hard quest, I want to kite as much as I can. I don't want to let any champions get close to me because they could hit really, really hard. And you can see that I have a champion attacking my NPCs. They seem to be doing okay versus it, but once the Ar the Orthons and the Devils start to spawn, they will they can kill the NPCs very quick. You can see I got a remnant chest in the air. It's always nice. And the NPCs the higher links should reset back to their pins. I might actually have to repin them. You know, they like to run around in this quest. Especially with these scorpions popping up underneath them. And here is a champion vermin keeper. Make sure that we get him. These guys are only here to keep me healed once the spawn gets really bad. So I will, if I need them. Okay, so this is the troglodyte part. And if I get close enough to these troglodytes, they will, I will be susceptible to their stench. The lions also can trip, so you don't want to let them get in melee range of you. If you have a way to, you know, unless you are a melee. If you are a melee, your build probably put points into balance if you have enough. But it's always a good idea if you are not on a melee to just kite any champions or any mobs that can trip you. Like these lions, wolves. Uh, hobgoblins can trip you. So I'm not going to let the... That's a champion lion. I'm not going to let him get near me. Uh, the troglodytes, I'm going to try to keep away from me because of their stench. I don't want to get the slow. And so you can see what the waves are and judge whether or not you think that your tune, the build that you're playing, would be able to handle this. 
If you don't think so, you can do this on normal and still get favor. I wouldn't skip this quest. I would either do it on normal or hard. Um, like I said, uh, it's worth doing all the favor you can get early. So later you can choose which of the hard quests you can skip once you are level 19 and the content is much more difficult. This early stuff, you know, the favor is easy to get to. So you want to, you want to get it done. Um, we've talked about this before. There are a very, very small percentage of players in DDO who are so good that they can do this at level 10 on Elite. Uh, if you get lucky enough to find a group that is going to do that and can survive doing that, that's even better. Then you'll get maximum favor for this. But I don't think it's necessary, especially now with all the Feywild content and all that extra favor. Getting this on normal or hard is fine. It's enough. And you'll see, like, the first wave isn't bad. The second wave... The waves do get significantly worse, but so far... Not that bad. We're going to keep the same strategy that we've had. We're going to kite. We're not going to let any of this stuff get close to us. Because I don't want to be tripped. I'm always going to overheal myself. So you see I took a little damage. I'm going to stop attacking for a second and heal. You can see I got the kobold stench on me. I'm going to take that off with the neutralized poison. That allows me to run my normal speed again. Now, that's where proof against poison is broken. That should not happen. Um, but So, knowing that, we will mitigate around it. But hopefully, by the next Hardcore League, SSG fixes that and... Proof against poison, proof against disease are working as they should. They are very busy. They, you know, who knows if they will. I hope they do. Um, you know, because it should. If you're relying on an immunity, what I consider essential for survival in the Hardcore League, if you're relying on a piece of gear whether you invested in an augment or you farmed for a proof against poison item or you know something uh, you want it to do what it's supposed to do you know they need to make sure that the the magical items are working as intended and if that's not the intent if they're changing it for some reason let's say they decided that they are not going to grant natural poison immunity well then they need to update the text they need to inform the community that they have changed the way those items function because likely that would change my recommendation to where I wouldn't think it would be that necessary because all it is is a bonus at that point if the immunity isn't in place it's just a bonus on your saving throws and while bonuses to saves are nice you know there are other ways to get bonuses to saving throws without taking up a whole slot or wasting money on an augment or, or you know, a piece of gear. Uh, in the early game, I think proof against poison and proof against disease are fantastic items, as as they used to work. But if if they are no longer going to give us that natural immunity, then you know, likely they are completely useless items. So you know, we'll see what happens for the next hardcore league. My hope is, because I'm a, a, DD, a Dungeons & Dragons purist, you know, I've, I used to Dungeon Master uh, games f for years uh, and have been f really familiar with the 3.5 rules. Um, I really like the 5E rules. I think they're fantastic. Um, you know, one of the things is that you want to make sure that whatever magic item you give to your players, you explain to them how it works let them figure out how it works and then keep it consistent. You know, you don't want to say something does something and then have it, you know, not function. 
I mean, if you give your players a Vorpal Blade, but then it doesn't Vorpal, uh, what's the point? Yeah, and that's the same exact thing in DDO uh, for for the you know all of its magic items. We really need to make sure that we are getting what we pay for. So this this fight is extremely challenging because he will dispel you and just spam magic missiles at you. So if you don't have ma uh, magic missile immunity, uh, that fight can be very challenging. Um, he also will do the nausea, the the cold, the um, the troglodyte stench, and he also puts up acid clouds, which will slow you. Uh, he also will shoot a disintegrate at you. So you need to be strafe and move away from him. He is a dangerous fight. Don't underestimate that fight that we just did. I didn't really. I was able to kill him pretty quickly, uh, but he is not something to just shrug off unless you are a baller and you are doing massive DPS and can kill him really quickly, or you have permanent magic missile immunity. Make sure you keep your resists on. He was throwing acid at me. Make sure you dodge and use the environment. He was shooting disintegrates at me. Um, you know, and disintegrate is just a fortitude save, and you take half uh, damage. But if you fail your fort save and you take full damage, uh, you can be killed very quickly with a disintegrate. So you don't want to get disintegrated. Now, because the fight's going to get much more difficult, now we get devils. I'm going to summon an Archon to give me a little bit of DPS. And I'm going to put up a Sleet Storm. And I'm not going to go in the Sleet Storm because I do not have freedom of movement. However, I will try to angle and use it, you know, so that monsters have to run through it. And I will just keep putting that up. I also have Ebard's Black Tentacles that I will use as needed. Oh, I need to switch back to my AoE. And because I have the Sleet Storm up, I'm going to try to drag things into it. And there you can see they hit it. There's a champion devil. I have to kill him quickly because he can probably hit me very hard to stay away from him. Yeah, you can see he is hitting me very hard. Now the heal I got is because I bounced by where my I pinned my healers. Oh, and there's Fade and she ran out. I have to make sure I repin her. Uh, the champion, you can see how hard they hit. The champion just murdered the muse. However, my cleric got the muse back up. I'm gonna make sure everybody's healed. I'm gonna pull them over here and repin them and put them on guard. Make sure I have my defenses on. I have permanent blur. Oh, there's a caster. He hit me with the Ray of Exhaustion. I take that off with the Restoration Potion. Use the environment to block their spells. Just keep dancing around. Try to grab the aggro. Lead these. When my heals get low, my health gets low, I will jump by my healers and hopefully they will throw a heal on me like they just did and then I jump away from them so I don't get aggro on them you know it's almost impossible to keep them alive but I'm doing my best and this strategy is you know a pretty decent solo strategy but like I said having real players is way better than having hirelings now these devils are immune to fire so they're not taking my fire damage Make sure that I keep protection from evil on myself. Make sure if 
we get more troglodytes that I put neutralized poison on myself. Although I think the troglodytes are done. I think it's all tieflings now. Old school tieflings, not the new tieflings, not the 5.0 tieflings that we got to play ourselves. These are the old school tieflings. They look like humans and they have little horns. And they have like reddish eyes. I thought that they were going to allow us to play tieflings like that, but they only put in the new ones, the 5.0 tieflings. So there is a champion. I have to be really careful of him. They hit extremely hard. I do my best to grab the aggro away from the skirmishers, the devils that hit my NPCs. They'll kill them. Here is a champion warlock, tiefling. They have very strong spells. I need to get him out of there first. Jump, cast, and heal myself. Refresh my protection from evil. Still got five minutes on my resists. And my Archon didn't last. My Archon died almost instantly. But, you know, it took a hit for me. Gonna kite these guys. There's a champion caster. I want to make sure I stay away from him. Line of sight him, LOS. I will do my best to LOS this. There's another caster I need to take out. can see you need to have magic missile immunity in here they they do a lot of magic missiles now here is the final fight I'm going to make sure that I help my NPCs out so they don't die the best I can throw some extra DPS on him. I'm cursed. I have one mob left. Okay. Remove the curse. Uh, the exhaustion will be removed by shrining. I'm going to shrine everybody. So I actually think that second boss is easier than the first boss. But magic missile immunity is necessary. So make sure you come in here with a wand if you don't have a permanent. The other thing too is that some of the mobs will dispel you. So even if you have the ability to cast it, you may need to keep casting it on yourself. Make sure that it doesn't fall off. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I love this permanent shield that's built into enlightened spirit it cannot be dispelled okay I am going to summon an archon I'll put up another sleet storm make sure that I buff myself this round here we get orthons so it's the toughest I'm going to make sure I have all the extra hit points I can get. I'll wait until I see the gates change before I put on my rage. And you can tell when the next wave is going to start. The gates will do a little sort of a shimmer. This quest is timed. So there it is. That's the shimmer. So now I put my rage on. And I also cast my sleet storm. 
and we'll use it to drag the Orthons and the Lions that can trip through. Now they all went for the Archon, so he did his thing, gave me a little bit of time. Jump around my own Sleet Storm, drag everything through it if I can. Remember, I don't want to go into it because I will be slowed and blinded and everything, but if you have freedom of movement, you can sit in it. It's important. Oh, see, I got stuck in it. <laughs> uh, it's really important to make sure that you LOS these monsters. Keep yourself healed. Uh, I might actually throw up another Sleet Storm on each of the gates just to help me, you know, give me a little bit of time when the monsters spawn. Okay. And some of them make it right through it. These Bezakiras, they will trip you, so you want to stay away from them. Uh, the Orthons can hit very hard, and they have a long range on those halberds that they carry. And if they're a champion, they can hit really hard. So you got to stay away from them. Same thing for the Bez Bezerikas. And we'll do our best. The Sleet Storms are doing their job. They're slowing the monsters that come onto the field. Some of them are falling down. Some of them are getting confused. See him? He's sort of sitting in it. He can't really see what's going on. That gives me a chance to... Oh, and this Warlock, look, he got knocked down. So, I mean, that's great. You can see why Sleet Storm is so essential and why I recommend it. I will throw up another Rage to keep my hit points up and another Sleet Storm. I can get away from him. Hopefully I got it off. Okay. Okay, that's great. I'll throw up another one right here. see how slow some of the spawn times are but it's good that it, they spaced it out so much because if there's a lot of champions that spawn if you get a lot of spawn um, you can get overrun really quickly so my health is dangerously low I need to make sure that I get it up because I could be tripped you don't want to let yourself go below 50% Uh, those mobs got right through the sleet storm. Sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it does. You're just trying to up the percentage in your favor. Uh, you know, give yourself every advantage, so. Oh, I got knocked down by my own sleet storm. Hopefully there isn't anybody near me. Oh, let me get out of there. There we go. That crown of snow or crown of frost locks them in ice when you cast the spell. That's great. They're all grouped up, so I'm going to throw an Evards on them. And I'm going to sit... Oh, I need to heal myself. I'm going to sit in the Evards and attack. Oh, I got hit with a hold person. I'm going to renew my protection from evil. And I don't know if that will keep me from getting held, but I'm going to... We'll, we'll find out. I'm going to heal myself. And no other mobs on the field. I'm going to switch to single target. I'm going to use my tainted spell casting to increase my DPS. And I'm going to try to kite him so he doesn't hit me with the halberd. I'll let him just keep doing his ranged attack. It's sonic, and you can see the sonic damage from his ranged attack is being absorbed by my elemental resists. 
have a much better chance of surviving that than taking one of those halberd hits since I'm in a robe with a buckler. Um, I, since I put protection from evil on myself, I have not got hit with another hold, so we'll see. Um, there is a chance, though, that it was the, the tiefling caster that hit me with it and not him. He may not actually even cast spells, so... Better to be safe than sorry. And there we go. That's it. We completed Devil Assault on hard on the Hardcore League. You get four chests plus any optional, uh, you know, remnant chests. The loot can be okay. Uh, not fantastic, but not bad. Any bit of loot on the Hardcore League is good. Oh, somebody just died. I saw a death message. A level 4 warlock. Unfortunately, somebody died. Uh, you can see that this is a solid strategy. We had these pinned. They didn't die. They threw a couple heals on us. We didn't need them to do the fight. And we probably could have survived even if they weren't in here. I just didn't want to take an unnecessary chance. And by not using them, considering that I can't find an LFM with anybody who would do this with me. So I think in a group, a solid group, hard is not not going to give you guys that much trouble. Uh, any really weak player could wait out beyond the locked door and just hide and send in all the strong players. If you're in a group of six, you know, let's say you had somebody who was on a dedicated bard or something like that, you could leave the bard out. But uh, I don't think it's that that big a deal. As long as people jump and move and strafe and do all of the, you know, the stuff. Join us for more. I plan to do lore videos for each quest in DDO as well as the raids. Plus, I will be releasing more Session Zero videos for DDO on topics such as player character races, the religions of Eberron, the Last War, and the Mornlands, the Dragon Marks, the Dragon Marked Houses, and much, much more. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. I like interacting with other players. My main tune in DDO is named Mary. I am on Sarlona. I also have a guild on the Hardcore League. My guild is Death Smile. Please say hi if you're on either of those servers. Uh, subscribe to see more Adventure AI content about DDO, uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online, and gaming in general. I also play Star Wars The Old Republic. You can join us at Adventure AI on Discord. Check us out on Twitch. Check us out on Twitter. You can go to our Patreon and become a patron of the channel where you would get access to all of the scripts, the images, the music, the videos, as well as behind the scenes, and the ability to request topics for me to make uh, future videos. Thanks very much. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope your adventures go well.